Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to sculpt on air today in the 3D code. I will be using uh, various tools and uh, perhaps a few tips, but most importantly it's just uh, to give you an idea of the possibilities uh, that 3D code's new voxel sculpting offers. First of all, uh, I'd like to show uh, what an air looks like. This is actually the most important thing. Uh, no matter what app you use, whether you paint, sculpt or model, uh, unless you have uh, painted or sculpted uh, an object many many times before, you won't really know what it looks like. So reference is key here. And with that in mind, with reference, there's really nothing holding you back uh, in making really nice stuff. So. As you can see, I pulled this from uh, the site theartofanatomy.com It's a site I can uh, really recommend because uh, the author, even though it's pretty dead by now, um, has explained various body parts with very nice drawings and uh, various links. So, it's a site I really recommend. I will be using this uh, as my reference to the side of the screen. Uh, first off, the tools I will be using will be pretty basic. Um, you can rotate around your scene by uh, holding Alt. And when you click uh, with your left mouse button or your pen, you will rotate. Middle mouse button is pen, right mouse button is zoom. It's pretty standard. The only special thing is that uh, you can see this, this little colored dot that's actually your your pivot pivot point. Um, it may take some getting used to, especially if you want to rotate around uh, around your entire object. But once you start sculpting, I find it a really pleasant way to navigate. Um, you can call up your sculpting tools by pressing space. As long as your mouse is over the menu, uh, it will stay on screen, and you move your mouse away to disappear. It's uh, very smooth. Uh, I personally recommend to uh, hotkey your favorite brushes. If you press end uh, you, and you click on a key, you will have it hotkeyed. So it's very simple. The tools I uh, I use primarily will be uh, airbrush, extrude, and uh, move, and of course smooth. Uh, for example, this is extrude. When you hold control, you subtract. And when you press shift, you can see the little bulb inside it turns green. And you can smooth stuff out. You have a few other controls which are important. If you uh, press and hold the right mouse button while you're over your sculpt, so you can see the yellow circle. If you drag it left and right, you will change the size. It's actually quite nice when you get used to it. And you move it up and down, you will change the strength. Uh, the final controls uh, that I'd like to show you are these. You can uh, call this panel up by pressing the E button. Um, you also have these a few of these controls, like the first few controls over here. They deal with uh, pen pressure. Uh, for example, you can link uh, both. Uh, uh, you can link just the side, uh, the radius of your stroke, to pen pressure, or just the opacity or both or none at all. Actually I'm a bit confused what this one does. Ah, no. Normally I have this enabled just because I like it. it. It's like a shortcut for what you can do at the top. So you can see if I do this now it will always be the same width. The only thing that changes is actually the depth. 
but that's just a personal preference. The tools over here, uh, I will show some of them. They are really nice. Uh, I use these primarily for cutting away volume, which is unique to Foxoscope, and you guys are going to love that. So, um, in regards to voxel sculpting, uh, I started with the uh, the biggest sphere that uh, you can choose when you open uh, open ZBrush. But I'm going to uh, to toss this away to uh, explain something to you guys. Uh, when you throw away the standard uh, standard sphere. Uh, you're getting a, a new one in its place. Um, it's a, a weird way of working, but we'll just skip that. When you go to the side uh, under objects, you have a button called primitives, and you get this little window, and then you can choose a cube. Normally, this window sits on the uh, on the upper left. I just pulled it down to uh, to show you guys. Um, what I wanted to show was uh, how resolution works within 3D code. Uh, you should see this, as strange as it may sound, I'll just pull it out a little bit, uh, a bit like your, your Photoshop canvas. And this has uh, a fixed resolution when you start. So you can imagine if you have like a, a really big document in Photoshop, and you zoom in really far and you make a really tiny tiny stroke that it will pixelate and in 3D code it's the same so I'm just going to make this really small so you can see the effect uh, once you have this how you want it you can just press enter and it will create a uh, cube in voxels yeah I just switched to the uh, screw tool you can already see a bit of blockiness here and if I would start drawing on air you can see that you get a bit of bit of blockiness. This is just like pixelating uh, in a in a raster document, you know, where you zoom in and you can see the pixels. The nice thing is actually voxel sculpting is so smooth that it really doesn't matter all that much. You know, it, it feels pretty nice anyway, which is, in my opinion, a, a big plus when you compare it to uh, mesh-based sculpting. So what I'm going to do now is scale this up like this. Uh, this is just experimentation. You, you have to get a sense for the, for the default resolution in, the, in, in 3D code. Normally when you make objects about, uh, I don't know, a third of the, of the grid size, and uh, you have a pretty, pretty nice resolution to, to start with. So that's what we are going to do as well. I press enter again. I switch. And now you can see that if I zoom in now and I start drawing, it's really, really smooth. It's only because uh, I'm the object that I'm sculpting on is bigger in comparison to the resolution, which has stayed the same. Um, you can change uh, the, the the resolution in world space. You can do that in the in the fox tree, which is on the right. Here, I just pulled it out. Uh, if you uh, go here, you can. Um, actually, it isn't here. My bad. You are, you have nice nice options in the in the fox tree, but if you want to increase resolution, uh, on the left on the voxel sculpting panel under comments, it's right at the bottom. There's a button called increase resolution, which does exactly what it says. The only thing you have to keep in mind is that you can only go up. Uh, in that way. It's much like uh, having a document in Photoshop again. You know, you, you start pretty low, and when, when your sketch is, uh, is turning out nice, you will increase the resolution and you will start painting details. 
but once you start painting details you never decrease your resolution because you will lose detail which you can't get back and uh, with 3D codes voxel sculpting it's exactly the same so with that said I'm going to turn off the grid because I find it distracting and let's see what we can do I'm just going to uh, be rough which is something uh, that you can be with voxels so 